Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Last week at work was all about Windows volume activation services. If you're a Windows administrator, you'll do this once and forget all about it just like I did. In our new single domain forest, I configured Active Directory based activation for Windows a couple of years ago, and I haven't given it a thought since. Now, we're decommissioning all the servers running 2008 R2 in dozens of trusting resource domains. Surprise, surprise, there is a list of five KMS or key management service servers that need to be replaced in the five resource domains. Let's walk through what needs to be done. We have a new server in the new forest that will serve as the KMS server. We need to activate Windows Server, Windows 10, Office 2013, and Office 2016 to replace the five old KMS servers. First, you install Volume Activation Services. It's easy enough to run Volume Activation Tools and select KMS Service. Then, you just add the latest KMS Windows Server key from your Volume Licensing Service Center into the KMS host key box in the volume activation tools and click commit. This will configure this server as a KMS server. But to add office activation, you need to run these office volume license pack executables. These open the volume activation tool, then you put in the office activation key. Yes, I tried just opening the volume activation tools and putting in the office key and it doesn't work. Since the new KMS server is in our new domain where we already have Active Directory based activation, we don't want the new KMS server to auto publish a volume activation SRV record in DNS for this domain. So run this command SL Manager slash C DNS to turn off auto-publishing of the DNS record. All the SL Manager commands require an elevated command prompt. I also had to go delete the volume activation SRV record because it was there as a result of the first KMS activation we did. To see the activation details, we run SL Manager DLV all and we get this WScript window that doesn't allow us to scroll through it. So now we run the same command with cscript like this, cscript.exe slmanager.vbs dlv all. Don't forget the .vbs extension on slmanager or cscript will pitch a command not found error. Now you could select all on the command window, copy and paste the contents into notepad and see the detailed activation for this server. Okay, our new KMS server is ready to do volume activation in those old resource domains. On the old KMS servers, we need to turn off auto publish to DNS using SL Manager slash CDNS. Then we need to edit any static volume activation SRV records or delete the dynamic ones from DNS and replace them with a new SRV record that refers to the new KMS server. Volume activation is interesting. The KMS server will not kick in until a certain number of requests from unique clients is received. Testing the new KMS server is also hampered by this host catching feature where the clients all still remember the old KMS server despite the fact we deleted the DNS record. I arrived at this combination of SL Manager commands to force the clients to test the new KMS server. This command turns off host catching, SL Manager slash C K H C. This command forces the client to use the new KMS server for activation, SL Manager slash S K M S, fully qualified domain name of the new KMS server. Now run this to activate using the new server, SL Manager slash A T O. Check the results with this command. SL Manager DLI. 
you don't want to leave the forced KMS server on this client. So to remove the forced KMS server entry, you run SL Manager C KMS. And let's turn host catching back on with this command, SL Manager S KHC. I was able to do this command sequence enough times to get the new KMS server to issue some activations. You can run this on the KMS server to see the new activations in the detailed output. cscript.exe slmanager.vbs slash dlv all. Using the command sequence above to test client activation, we saw successful activations for servers and workstations in each of the domains. Now we can go on to decommission those old KMS servers. Stay tuned and thank you very much. So make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.